Hello? Hello? You said you wanted to talk to me? Yeah, I did. Uh, I didn't think you actually come in person. I thought you actually used the message book that I've sent. Yeah, well, I prefer to be more direct. Okay, that makes a lot yeah, I find I messages have a habit of getting intercepted. Um, how are you after the whole execution thing? Alive. Well, yeah, I could see that very clearly. You did just teleport out of the void. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot has happened since that day, actually. Um, I, I sent you the book. I, I sent you an invitation. Uh, yeah. The wedding. Do you have Apparently, any yeah. idea I, when that's going to be? We're still talking about it, but I made sure um, Alakai does not kill you on that day at all, or nobody else. Like, that day is only no killing day. But you're safer when that day actually comes. Okay, then. I'll... I won't say I'll trust you, but I'll take your word for it. If that <laughs> makes sense. Yeah. Like, I'll I... trust that your intentions are pure, but I'm not going to trust your ability, if I'm honest. <laughs> I've started working for Malachi only to see what I can gain out of it, like information from stuff. And I've um, asked both of you of why I should trust you and join you for the, the war thing coming up. Malachi's already given his answer, so I can at least have chosen before the day actually comes. Right, and I assume his answer is that he'll give you things and won't kill you? Actually, no. I have the book here of what he wrote to me. Would you like to read it? Sure. He replied fast really badly. I was actually surprised, but he... He told me not to trust you and that you're a sick man and that to I can trust him. Right. I've received, I... read, and heavily considered my response to a note. I would also like to mention I found your sign. I assure you I could not only explain and justify my actions, but also convince you to join me. To address the sign you so lovingly placed out on the path, in recent history there has only been one death associated with me. Note, recent history there. This would be the death of my vice president, which he killed five times, so it's technically five separate deaths, not one. Was a tragedy, as every death is. He has literally committed genocide before. But his death had been coming for a long time. A.K.A. he wanted Malachi to not commit genocide again. He was a broken man using advanced technology in hopes to not only overthrow and kill me, but start numerous wars. I mean, I won't vouch for the first one, but the second one, I knew him. That was not within his field of mind. He is not much of a warmonger. I wouldn't have been able to contain him. So I did what I had to do. Mm. Okay. Yeah, he might not have been able to contain him, but he would have killed him even if he could have. I did it to protect everyone on the on the SMP and secure an ideal future for them. On the topic of why you should fight by my side, I'm acting with the people's interest in mind. His definition of people is questionable. In my campaign, I stated I am a man of the people. He did, but it's such a vague statement, literally every politician will say it. Creeper should be regarded as an enemy of the people, as he has access to high levels of magic and is a threat. 
Access to powerful abilities does not make one a threat. Threat is defined by intention. Malachi has the intention to kill every single foundling, so he is the threat here. I have the intention of stopping him, therefore I am not. He is a very mentally unstable man. Now that's just downright false. I am quite mentally stable with a lot of power. True. <laughs> to secure the future we all deserve, we have to stop him from whatever he's been planning. Note, he doesn't define what you actually deserve. He believes you deserve death. I'm going to assume you've found some way to contact him and ask for his perspective, but be warned, Creeper is a liar and is very mentally ill. I am not mentally ill at all. He will pull whatever strings he has to so that you'll fight for him. I mean, I'm trying to stop a genocidal maniac. Of course I'm gonna pull some strings. He can't be trusted. Yes, I can. Multiple people trust me. Mace, for instance. I can only hope that you'll put your trust in me, as I will put my trust in you. Make the right decision, be safe. He didn't technically lie, but he left out so many key details, it's practically useless as a source of information. The thing is, is I really do want to trust him, but at the same time, I feel like I don't know if I should. That's why I'm working for him, because I know I was happy I was going to get a full lifetime of supplies of cookies and antler soup. I also want some information out of it as long as working with him. Yeah. By the way, those lifetime supply things are always a scam, because they're going to be like expecting you to eat one cookie a day and live to 60, or something like that. I mean, he gave me a stack of 64 cookies and then a lot of antler soup, and I just got an antler soup today, actually, so I was kind of happy, but... Mm. Fair enough. I know you're not mentally ill. You don't act like it. You act fine. And yeah. that's... Mentally that's ill That's the thing is... I caught on. Yeah. Do you know what he is? Mm. Um, I know he's our president, um. I don't mean like that, I mean like, he is a founder. He is, in fact, the last founder now. I thought you were the last founder. I'm not a founder, I'm a first generation founder. There's a difference. Yeah, Malachi is the last founder, and he killed all of the others for reasons I still don't fully understand, that it was genocide. I don't think you can ever apply reasons to that. Like, it was systematic genocide of effectively an entire species. And then when he died the first time, and thus that didn't work, he eventually reincarnated into Mace and started possessing his body. I that... heard that that he was like, Mace was like somewhat possessed, but I didn't really think it was true. Yeah, no, Malachi is possessing his body. How does Mace sometimes get control over Malachi? In the beginning, he could only possess Mace for like a couple hours, and the possession had to be triggered by something. Now, he's gotten a bit more powerful. So, but Mace has also gotten more powerful. So, mm. they both kind of possess each other at this point. I also want you to come here, because I wanted to show you something of what I've been working on. Mm -hmm. So, to come up here. That is not what I wanted to do. I've been working on this room for quite a while. I was planning on using these for whatever side I chose on. I have a lot more in my ender chest, but I thought I'd place these here. Like a trap room. 
I know these can actually kill anyone, even if you have the strongest armor. Not quite. You have to get- Not quite, but you can do some type of damage to the point it gets their health up to the point you can actually kill them. Yeah, it does the damage of a charged creeper. I've studied these things quite a bit, actually. They're fascinating when you mm -hmm. really get into them. It really is. The only thing I can remember that, that there is from my home. Yeah. At least from what I've heard. Yeah. The amount of energy contained within Ghost Tears is fascinating. It really is. Yeah. I mean, you can see the power they have in things like regeneration potions. That's just extracting a, fa a fraction of it and applying it to physical regeneration. Yeah. And that can heal a stab through the gut in seconds. I'm speaking from experience here, they're quite powerful. They are. I've, um, may have exploded once because of them while I was doing the rooms. So I had to redo the entire place, but I think they worked out fairly well. The thing is, the only problem is that I just need more gas tears so I can make more of them. I know I can set up some trap somehow to trap them in a room enough to kill a person even with the strongest armor. So, if I set up something that can get you Ghost Tears, will that sway you to my side? Only thing I want to know is what you're going to do after you- what, what are you going to do if you won the war? That's the only answer I want, and depending on that answer, I might join your side, because I am really want to- Oh, you guys are my friends. I met you all when I first- when I first actually came into this world, and I trust you all completely. Right, yeah, only you're problem from- The only problem is- Yeah, you're from the nether, right? I'm originally from the end, but I had to go to the nether. I- I had enough- my mom before just in case if hunters came to like go in the nether and stay there but I you guys are warn, my friends yeah i will warn i don't think anyone else here knows what the end is so the end would, is yeah i know what the end is of course but i don't think anyone else would and they're gonna start Asking a few questions and probably, if I know these people, try and go there. So, I just say hey, never. Yeah, I was very young when I left there, really, so I really don't remember much. But um, all I know is that there's definitely a lot of Endermans there. Definitely a lot more than in the Nether. Yeah, just say from there. Back to my original thing. Two of my friends are fighting. I don't like it, and I have to be forced to cho to choose a side. I only want to choose a side if there's going to be a nice outcome at the end of the war after if someone won. What will you do if you won the war? Well, I admit I haven't really told anyone about this bit, but... I have reason to believe that were you there for the actual election? I was not there for the actual election. The only time I was ever here first time was meeting you guys and then the execution happened. Right, okay. So, there were two main candidates in the electoral race. Clyde the Horse and Malachi posing as mate. Yeah. Malachi supposedly won, but I have reason to believe Clyde was the genuine victor. As such, if I win, Clyde will be reinstated to his rightful role of president. I'll probably either do something in government if it's offered to me, or just disappear and do my own thing. I haven't really thought about it much. Well, you... If you win, you say, and then somehow the election, another election started, and you got the role of president. Will you kill anyone that defies you or something? No, of course I'm not going to kill anyone for defiance. 
I gotta say, I'm starting to get closer more to your side than ever. Yeah, yeah the first thing I would have to work out would be a proper judicial system. Because <laughs> <laughs> currently, um, the only real system is President decides you are evil, therefore death. It's not a good yeah, system. Yeah, I, I also try to work for him to get information, but also try to stay on the good side so I don't get killed. Mm. Yeah. I'll say one thing that his execution debauchery did was instill fear in his subjects. Speaking of fear, do you know what this place originally was? Um, I heard it was used last time and the last war or something. I don't really know. I'm not <laughs> quite sure about the last war, but Malachi used to use this room to store his TNT. Oh. Every single one of these chests was filled with it. That's a lot of TNT. Yeah, maybe moved it, but I'm not entirely mm -hmm. sure where it is anymore. And I want has... to choose your side. You have a better perspective of what you're going to do. Like, if you're like Gold Defy Malachi or something, or do something against him, I would just think you turn on him, and you would probably just be killed or something. Dude, yeah, that's you, the you thing. Do that. His sentence for betrayal is death. My sentence for betrayal is, well, the same sentence I give to my enemies, which is being my enemy. I mean, that's understandable, but if an innocent person just don't don't listen to you or something, doesn't do what you do, you, you don't have to kill them. No, of course not. Killing them is just awful in so many ways. It's just... I actually have two books I actually keep on myself for some. I have a book where it's journal. It tells my journey, of, and then I send them to you to help me make my decisions, actually. And then I have what I do at times. I try to keep in my ender chest most of the time, really. So. Okay, how is that relevant? Is that relevant? I guess I just trust you enough, but the thing is, is that I've wrote some stuff about Malachi in their books that I don't want him to see. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> don't want him to <laughs> convict you of a thought crime, then. No, I've wrote some thoughts about him um, that I probably should not be seen by him, really. Here, during my days here, I have collected all the discs, and I have three favorite discs, really. Here's Maul, Bar, and Malahai. As my journey of joining you, I want to give you one of the discs so you know I've joined your side. Thank you. Mm-hmm. You just gotta make sure Malachi does not find out that you're that I that you've been here. That's gonna be very problematic. Yeah, that. If he does, well, we always have the alibi of me trying to convert you and you adamantly refusing. That is very true. You're not in a state to physically contest me, so you just. Pretend yeah. to accept my offer, and then never follow through. It's always if... good to make an alibi for that kind of thing. It really is. Would you like some cake? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. You seem quite fidgety. I'm just, I'm just worried. I, 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 I really don't want Malachi to find out any about this, and I also don't want to, like, like, I'm afraid 
Uh, if Malachi finds out about this, something bad might happen, not to me, but also Mikey or Costco. Since, you know, me and Costco are going to get married soon. I don't want anything to happen to both of them. Yeah, Costco already riding a fine line with that. I want her out of the war. I don't want her in the war. I don't want her risking her life. Kind of selfish, isn't it? Me going to war, but sure not. Yeah, I guess, but it's what any protective lover does. Is there other reason Malachi hates you besides you being um mentally ill, as he says? Is there any other reason? I mean, I the real reason is I scare him. How? How? Well, you've seen him. He describes me as a powerful sorcerer. Oh, you did teleport out of the void, really? So I don't. Yeah. I just kind of see it at the point. Yeah. Have you seen my base? I actually have the big tornado one. Yeah. yeah I've seen that. Yeah, the I'm tornado gonna... stuff was actually his, and. The blue stuff was like a barrier I wrapped around my base. That I... Yeah, I wrapped my base in a barrier, and then he tried to attack me with, like, red and black tentacle spore things, and so I repelled them, that's why there's so much debris around it. Then he attacked again, so I just kind of Picked it all up in a giant whirlwind. And the reason he just does walk in is because he literally cannot set foot on any of those blocks. You can't set foot in on your barrier blocks? Nope. He cannot walk on my base. That's actually kind of neat. Yeah, it's... Not the easiest spell in the world, but I make exceptions my own turf. Well, I guess it's actually kind of useful for, for him not to be able to go into your base, because you probably have a lot of stuff. You no, know, we've been trapped inside of this house. Why don't we go outside? I mean, the others are probably back in the middle of the spawn. Probably not near. Yeah, but... We can go somewhere where it's not, like, showing. You can go up the mountain. I just don't want to be a uh, scuffy inside my house. Has Malachi always hate you since the beginning, or were you guys at least one, at least friends just once? I mean, he actually wanted me as an ally for quite a bit. Hey, I wasn't about to accept that whole genocide plan. Especially considering the fact I would be a victim of said genocide. You should come over here, you're just making yourself exposed. You're a creeper, right? Yes. And what's with the test? With, um, with their mouth. Oh, right, the tusks. Yeah. Yeah. So, fun fact. Creepers are actually technically extremely mutated pigs. They originated from pigs, and my founder did some interesting genetic engineering and created them, but I was a specialist byproduct, a more perfected version. As such, I have what is effectively a pig skull. That's actually interesting. Oh, you and Malachi are very old. Um, you guys been around for a long time. So how does that work out? Do you ever see like a lot of people with different abilities and stuff? Well, in my life, I've tried going around the world finding people with different abilities. Sometimes I find the same 
the same founder gives the same abilities each time. Where's the preparations going to be set up for the war? How many people are already with you, like, sided with you? Um, currently, I'm not the only person recruiting. So I have to say I'm not entirely sure. Six or seven, probably. And that's guaranteed. There's probably more. That's that's really good, because if we have more more numbers, we can at least get like more resources, so we can have more stuff. Resources isn't a problem. I can get gather more end crystals in TNT, so we can set up like a trap somewhere for them. I'll set up a thing to get gas tears, because those are going to be the most difficult bit. Yeah, we need gas here, so a lot of it, we're gonna make a whole ton of end crystals. Mm. Please, please, uh, blaze, uh, blaze rods won't be a problem, actually, because there's another fortress nearby, we can just use the blaze spawner. Yeah, blaze rods aren't a problem. The only yeah. thing left is ender pearls, and those you can just trade for in ridiculous quantities, so. Yeah. And then the only thing left is glass, which you can just kind of gather manually. There's no real method yeah. of getting lots of that, apart from just digging. How are you holding up, actually? Emotionally? Physically and emotionally, yeah. Physically, I'm better than ever. Emotionally, it's definitely a stressful situation, but I'd say I'm holding up pretty well. Pretty well. You must have the... Uh... Let's have a good, like, at least summer to hide, a good place to hide, because apparently Malachi has not even found you yet. Oh no, he has. It's just got the same spell, oh. as I mentioned earlier. So, he oh, can't actually well, step foot there. Oh, <laughs> well, yeah, that still works. At least he cannot get you. No, but he can still send minions at me. Yeah. That's true. Well, minions. Well, minions that can't touch that can touch water at least. Yeah, you're not gonna be one of them. No. Although I can't make any promises about your fiance. Yeah, I can try to get her to be on our side. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure she will listen to me, right? Yeah. Try. But. It's just the question of how much of this world we're willing to project her to. If she's pure in this world, and that's a rare trait. If, if she doesn't join, is it okay if I can try my best to avoid her at all costs and just kill the others if we have to? I don't want to hurt her in any way. Yeah, we'll try and do as. Minimal fighting as possible. Yeah. Currently, my plan is maybe one or two big fights, and that's gonna be it, basically. One of which I have a plan for causing a quick surrender. I'm actually kind of curious about your plan. How are you gonna make them surrender? Well, Malachi is their centerpiece. I have mm -hmm. a way to get him out of the picture, at least for a little bit. Can he use a weak one of his weaknesses on him? He doesn't have weaknesses, at least not in that sense. But everyone has a weakness. You just have to find it, and then yeah. No one here does not have a weakness. Everyone at least has one type of weakness that can be used against them. You just have to find it, and maybe you can use it I, to your I advantage. don't have eyebrows. I'm very much trying to raise one of them. <laughs> Are you doing like the questioning kind of face, or the surprise kind of face? As in the I very much doubt that kind of face. Uh, that... Well... 
Okay, the Dao kind of face. I can understand why you think it doesn't have weaknesses, but trust me, everyone at least have one sort of weakness. Are you talking... What is your definition of weakness here? Like, physical thing that will do double the damage, or... Like, vulnerability they leave you... Oh, that's exploitable. Everyone at least have one, not one of each, at least have at least one thing about them that's their weakness. Honorability, something. Malachi was just over there. Might want to go on the other side of the hill. Yeah. That's not a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Be... still have a water bucket for some reason. I yeah, don't know I mean, why I need it. If it does to you what lava does to us, it's not like... It's not like it's idea. gonna take much damage, but like... Yeah, if you just do like a quick place to prevent full damage, that'll work. Yeah, I'm gonna stand right here just in case, because they can still see from the, from the little thing yeah, that Yeah, Malachi possibly. was going that way, don't worry. How do you do it? The the magic, at least. That's what I'm curious about. You're a creeper. I see you can explode. But how do you do magic? That's the question I have. Do, do okay, one of your... then. Magic is... interesting, and there's many different types. The magic that I specialize in is mana flow magic. So... I take the energy that my soul produces and use it to enchant physical objects. It's similar to what an enchantment table does, but using myself as the enchantment table. So is that how you did the teleportation? Yeah, if I'm honest, the teleportation was a lot of flash and not very much actual magic. I just... I just used the magic to flip a lever, which activated the pulse stasis chamber. That's the thing with magic. Most of it is just sleight of hand and illusions. Not much of it is actual spell casting. Do you think Malachi will try to use the the room that I showed you, or my books and gets me? I feel like he would to get what he wants. Quite frankly, I don't think I know a thing Malachi wouldn't do to get what he wants. Because he said that you will try to pull any type of strings to get what you want of your desires. I, there are some strings I won't pull. Calling in favours and getting people to pay their dues, that kind of thing. I'm happy to pull those strings. Spying, exploitation, lying to the enemy, that kind of thing bit more dubious, but I'll, I'll allow it in times of war. But things like mm. emotional manipulation, yeah, that kind of thing. I'll admit, I'm not very versed in it, so I don't have many examples, but that kind of stick is a no-go for me. Have... Is a no-go also using, like, someone's possession or chat against them? Oh, blackmail? Yeah, that's... You're not going to use that, right? No, I'm not going to blackmail you. Have you been preparing for the war the entire time you were gone? Gone as in after the execution? Yes, after the execution. Yeah, I'd say so. How far I'm have most... you gone into the preparations? Uh, I've got someone handling all of the supplies and... Currently, we're at the later stages of the prep phase. Are you spying on Malachi? Of course I am. He's spying on me as well, I believe. I didn't help with the spying. I am his assistant. At least, yeah. Yeah, just... I'll try not to get you caught. If you do. I... I don't think I will get caught. At least you think I would at least get caught with you visiting me, but at least we have the plan of what to say, of what I can say, yeah. what you told me. 
I don't think I would get caught of working with you fully. If you do, your solution should be run, pray he doesn't catch you, hide, pray he doesn't I, find you. I actually have um, a little base in the nether that I can use to hide. Actually, okay. would you like to see that base in the nether? I mean, sure, I can see if he catches you and then you go there. Can... Yeah, he doesn't know where it is, at least. Does he know so... it exists? No. Okay. The only person that knows exists is Lemon. That's really it. I haven't told anybody else. Nobody else actually knows anything in my house of what I've done. The end crystals, nobody knows about that. No one knows about the books. How do we get back up? That's... Uh... Uh, how about we don't get back up? How about we go around? Because we're trying to get to a nether portal, aren't we? I don't think no one should be in the spawn area right now. So we can probably go to the end. Um, redstone house. I've been making potions recently. I can probably help make a lot of potions. So far, the potions I've been making are um, slowness and harm. I've already used one today on Malachi. He came to my house. You said you're an assistant. How much have you been assisting? Oh, hello. Um. You know what? Let's go this way. Um. Yeah, I need to get to her another portal is the problem. Uh, there's no, we could just use Costco's. We could just use, yeah, um, Costco's Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't think Rai is in the, in the war, but I'm not for sure. Yeah, let's just uh, not take any chances, especially with him just right there. I don't think they saw you, so I think that's a good thing. Oh, no, that's they, cool. yeah, they definitely did, but they didn't try and instantly attack me, which implies I, they're not I, actively with Malachi. I mean, worst case, worst case can, uh, s scenario, if you, if you ever get caught, you can always just at least try to be invisible, then run to the, to the base here in the nether. If I get caught, I have escaped back to you, so don't worry. Yeah, but just in case, uh, if Malachi sent minions to your base, you can always just come here. Oh, there you are. Um, I keep on forgetting. I'm a little bit more knowledgeable in the nether direction. Yeah. Once you go along a path enough, it just becomes natural. Oh, uh, whoops. And then. So, this is the base I've been working on. Hmm. I was planning on getting more armor stands uh, to get more uh, armor. At least for everyone that I need help. I know some people tend to um, lose their armor a lot. I yeah. I also have this portal over here um, where I'm currently going to. I'm going to build my other base out for like to keep resources safe and stuff. Somewhere where Malachi does not know. What was that? Well, the ominous noise. Yeah. You. You've lived in the nether your entire life, and you've never noticed that? I tend to block out sounds a lot, um, when I'm busy doing stuff. As a kid, listen, as when I'm living in the nether, as a kid, I'm still trying to get used to the nether, to the point where when I hear sounds, I just don't bother so much. But for some reason, it scares me now. Right. 
Oh, I. And also does remind me. Uh, here you go. Oh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I give them to everyone who's my friend. I believe we're done here. Yeah, we're done. I have to do other stuff now. Yeah. Good day to you. Good day to you too.